There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. Welcome to Cuisine with Jean, and we have got such an exciting treat for you today. We have got a young person. Not, not that everybody we have on is old, but this is actually an eighth grader, right? Yes, ma'am. Doesn't look like an eighth grader. You're pretty tall for eighth grade. <laughs> At OLPH, and he's Todd and Amber Henson's um, son. I was talking to Todd when, Todd when he won Allegra One Small Business of the Month, and he said, my son Mitchell likes to cook. And so that led to your being here today. Yes. What'd you think, Mitchell, when he came home and told you he'd volunteered you? We actually had pizza in, he's like, oh, by the way, you're on a TV show. I'm like, huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it was pretty cool at first. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Well, apparently um, you I'm cook. glad to be here. Good. Well, yeah. I'm glad that, that's why he's always here. He's glad to be here. But he said, you're a really good cook. So how often do you cook? I like to cook a lot. My mom likes to cook mainly. Mainly I like to cook at my grandma's. My grandma is a really, really good cook. Uh-huh. So that's where, I, that's where I like to cook from. She's a really good cook. So Does she share recipes with you or show you Top the secret techniques? recipes, yes. Top oh. secret. <laughs> Top secret. Is this one of the Dad knows about that from last night. <laughs> I was supposed it? to cook someone else, but she said, can't share that. No, no. Oh, she doesn't wish you to share it. Mm -mm. Well, we'll have to work on that for next time you come no. back, okay? It's a top secret recipe. Top secret. Oh, well, I mean, I hope she writes it down and stuff because you, you know, want to preserve those great family recipes. I know, I have it on my phone right now. Oh, okay. Well, what are you going to make? I'm going to make chicken alfredo. Uh-huh. Um, and what do you, what, we're going to start with the sauce for yes, it? Yes, ma'am. And did you, how'd you come up with this recipe? Um, I, I, like, I watch a lot of cooking shows and I saw this, so basically, <clears throat> it's a mix of like, I, it's a mix between my grandma's chicken alfredo sauce and what I kind of like to do with alfredo sauce. For example, my grandma doesn't put Italian seasoning in it. Mm -hmm. I put my Italian seasoning in it. But basically everything in this recipe is from my grandma. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your grandma's name? Susan Hayes. Susan Hayes. Okay, great. Here we go. Okay, right. so you have melted what? So I have what? melted butter, one half a, I mean one stick of butter. Okay. And I'm gonna add um, one cup of heavy whipping cream. So this is not low cal. And melt, melt on medium heat. Uh huh. And what are you, you're turning up a little bit now. Yeah, what it's on you, medium heat. Oh, and also melt the butter on medium heat. Okay. And, and did you need to start your timer or did you already do that? Oh, my bad. Yeah, let me just, there you go. And so what are you hoping to see with that? Will it? Um, If you can see, if this uh -huh. is on, I don't know if you can yeah. see, it's all, it's looks, it just looks like butter. Uh -huh. When it should be done, it should kind of look like this milk or whipping mm -hmm. cream. Okay, a little thicker maybe. <laughs> Not that thicker, not that thicker. Not that thicker. A little thicker, but not that thicker because the cheese is what makes it thick. Oh, okay. So it's not like a roux where you cook flour yeah. in the butter and whatnot. It's more, and actually the the portions, we'll tell people what's in it. You put in how much cheese? Um, About a cup. One, one and a half cup. One and a half Shredded cups. cheese. Okay. And you could put, you can use um, non-shredded. It could be any because um, non-shredded actually, dissolves better. Uh-huh. Do you ever grate your own cheese? Um, my Nana does. Mm -hmm. My dad's mom. Mm -hmm. She grates it. Yes. So on a regular school day with your, you've been at OLPH, what, since fifth grade? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. In the middle of sixth grade, yeah. Uh-huh. Do you like it? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I like the people there. The people are very nice. Yeah, the it, people let, are nice. Well, let's talk about the the lady. Do you call her the headmaster, Miss Love? Or <laughs> no, Mrs. Principal? Love. Mrs. Love. Yes. Okay. What is she? The principal or the? Yes, ma'am. She's the principal okay. of our school. But you y'all really like Mr. Rudy, don't you? Oh yeah, you? Mr. Rudy. He's nice, Mr. Love. Yes, <laughs> we all love him. And what what type of things does he teach? He you? teaches Spanish and PE. Uh -huh. He's volunteering for Spanish right now while they're trying to find a new teacher. 
So, he's, yeah, he's a really good teacher. Mm -hmm. And so the school curriculum will prepare you completely to transfer into the ninth grade because yeah. it only goes through the eighth grade? It only goes through the eighth grade, yeah. It's a small school, so it doesn't go like big up there. Mm -hmm. Like how many kids are in your class? Twelve. Wow. Oh, okay. And the only, and still in the eighth grade class. Are you like taller than most of them? Because I mean, yes. eighth grade folks, this is a little yeah. bit. <laughs> yes. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. I say that's pretty good. Uh huh. I'm, tall, I'm taller than most of the people in my class. Hmm. Okay. Do we need to turn that up a little bit? Will it ever bubble? Is there a point at which um, it's going to simmer when the cheese is melting? Mm -hmm. That's what you or when this. It doesn't really matter. If it simmers, just it just leave it alone. It's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. What other things do you like to cook? Cheeseburgers, steak. Um, tomato soup and meatloaf. And do you do all Oh, that? and fried eggs and bacon. Oh, good. Like, do you cook breakfast in the morning or on the weekend? I can or? cook, I can cook myself breakfast. I like to cook. If I did, I'll cook, um, sausage and fried eggs. Mm-hmm. Do you like cooking for your younger sister? No. <laughs> would you if she asked you? <laughs> so. If it, if I got asked, it was, I was told. <laughs> How about mom and dad? Do you cook for mom and dad? I'll cook for mom if she's sick. Dad, I don't know. He's never been sick. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. So on a regular school night, you wouldn't necessarily come home and fix dinner for everybody? No. My mom, she likes to cook for people. So it's usually my mom cooking. Mm -hmm. She likes to take all the um, credit. <laughs> so what? do y'all have a cafeteria at OLPH? Yes and no. I mean, you can call it a cafeteria, but at the same time, that's where like everybody like that's like the um, main hall where everybody goes. Mm -hmm. Um, that's probably it's about the size. I... We need to move your dad <laughs> over here so he's looking off camera to get <laughs> to ask his dad. Okay, Todd, move over here so he can look straight ahead and look at you. So you do um, have a place where people can eat. Do you bring your own lunch or do they have stuff um, there? They have stuff there. Uh -huh. It's mainly reheatable stuff, but yeah, they have stuff there. Um, yeah, but the cafeteria is also like the, um, what do you want to call it? It's a meeting hall. Meeting hall, yeah. Meeting hall. That's where everybody In goes for like, yeah, that's like where study hall is and all that is. Uh -huh. Study hall, that's where people get their work done. So classes. you've got what, 46 minutes, but tell me, what, what course are you taking? Math, algebra, Spanish, social studies, English, grammar, religion, art. Uh, PE, um, so basically stream. Basically the same thing you'd be taking in, if you were going to, before you transferred there. Yes. And the highest level, you said algebra, so is that kind of the highest level of math that's available? Um, we're doing algebra one or two, I don't know. Okay. And you ready yeah. to add this? Yeah. So got six uh, seconds, I think. We, we'll all get right. ready. So now, after this, we add this garlic. garlic. This is big enough to it's take this out. It's a teaspoon of minced garlic or, and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Uh, do you have a spoon or something? I can't get this out. Um, I tell you what, we can probably do it with our fingers. Oh, Want to do that? With your yeah. finger? I'm going to just leave this in there. Kind of. How do you okay. some? Just don't burn them. You can wipe it on the whisk or something if it won't come off. Yeah, this won't. And so that is minced garlic that's, that's kind of watery. Yeah. Because it's, did you mince it yourself? No, I store bought. Okay. We'll, we'll forgive you for that, okay? Yeah, I need a, it won't come off. That's okay. Just keep stirring it and we'll get it in a minute. Yeah, put this okay. in. And I'll count my head. And that's I'll, I'll, have, I'll count my head. Italian seasoning? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You want to scrape, is there anything you want to scrape off with this? Oh, yes. You can scrape it off the whisk with that or with your finger. I just thought about that. Okay. I'll wash my hands before this, it's okay. Okay. Good, because we're going to eat it and we don't like to eat food. <laughs> it's always good to wash your hands. Okay, so you stir that in and then what? Um, we'll wrap this for a you minute. Need, so you do need to cook that for a minute before you add the cheese? Yeah. It's gonna let the garlic settle in, uh -huh. so it can. You have to whisk this a lot during this part. Mm-hmm. 
Do you shop for the, the ingredients when you're making something or do you get your yes. mom to buy it? I shop for the ingredients myself. Good. I don't trust her sometimes. Are you thinking like maybe being a, you don't trust her, we'll come back, we'll circle back to that, but do, are you thinking about being a chef someday maybe? No, no. I'd rather just cook at home. Uh-huh. I don't, want, I don't like to cook for like people, like a lot of people, I'd rather cook for like family and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what my grandma always told me. She, like, she says, don't cook for people, cook for family. So. And what do you think she means by that? Um, cooking, like really good cooking is meant to be shared with loved ones. Uh-huh. That's that's why I can look at it like. That's so, what she means when she says that. Yeah, it's about time to put. I don't know your grandma, but I really like her. She sounds like a like a great role model for you. Yeah, she is. And do so, both of your grandmothers live in town? Yeah, my grandma actually, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, I put too much. So you don't put the whole package, you just put like a- Yeah, that's, that's perfect actually, that's a, a cup lot, and that's half. perfect. Good. So I'm probably gonna have to let this. Yeah. I'll go ahead and throw it in, right? Yeah. So then we add our salt and pepper. That was, by the way, one half, one cup and a half of parmesan. Okay. And salt don't whisk taste. this because you don't want the parmesan to get stuck in here. Uh huh. Good so too. you don't have to let this melt. Okay. And when it comes to a simmer. That's when you know how to stop. Okay. Well, we are going to let that cook together and right. thicken up, and we're going to take a break. And we come back, you're right. going to cook the chicken. Chicken, yes, ma'am. Okay, great. We'll be right back. There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars, and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. We're back with Mitchell Henson, who is Todd and Amber Henson's son um, of Allegra fame. Of course, Uncle Mark, too. Who doesn't <laughs> know Uncle Mark, right? Yeah. Do you, does he, how old are his kids? They're a little bit older. 21 and 24. Okay, and how old's your sister? 11, she just turned 11. 11, okay. Let's get this started and then we'll talk a little bit right. more. So what are you getting ready to do now? Um, you can season Alfredo. your chicken by choice. Mm -hmm. um, I use about four strips of chicken and I cut it up. So just. And it's all breast meat. Season to it? your taste, to your liking. Do you always use all white meat or do you mix white and dark? Doesn't or really matter to me. Okay. So you got it all nice and coated. Yeah, get it real nice and coated. Make and, sure it's even. And in the pan, you've got some cooking oil? Yes, um, put, make, make sure the oil is on medium before you do it. So it's hot and ready. Cause you don't want it to get, cause if you put it on, just, you just put the oil on, put the chicken on. It's not gonna cook that well. And you know when you sear the outside of it, it keeps the juice in, which yes. is really extra good. Just what? a little bit. That's it. That's these, what I mean. These are nice chunks too. So you mm. cut it all up yourself? Yes, ma'am. Do you ever cut yourself when you're cutting them? Not yet. Good. <laughs> all right. You can set a timer for it. Yes. All right. We watch out, cause oil might fly out. Okay. I like that good sizzle when it hits. So is there any um, particular type of oil that you use? Um, no, ma'am. Oh, wait, sorry. I don't know. Oil at home, I guess. Uh, uh, it doesn't even say on the bottom. We just have. Vegetable oil. But, like, you don't use, like, olive oil or something. You just use vegetable oil. That you know? Yeah. Vegetable oil. Okay. And we, you, you won't at some point put a lid on it, right? You'll just let it cook mm -hmm. with an open pan. Yeah, just cook with an open pan. I don't have that. How many people would this recipe serve? Family size, because this is, look up, yes, family portion. Uh-huh. Like how many are in the family that'll serve that? About four or five. Okay. And if you, you ration it, maybe six. Well, we definitely want to ration it, right? <laughs> Do you serve something with it or? Um, you can. I don't. I'm not serving anything with it, but you can serve. A good choice is probably t garlic bread. That's really nice, especially because it's Italian. How about dish. something green? Like would you oh, put a salad um, with it? 
Yeah, you can use a Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. You just if, if you want it to go good with it, something Italian, because this is an Italian recipe, so you definitely want to. You know, your gra neither of your grandparents is Italian, are it, is either of them? They aren't, are they? No, <laughs> no. It's just something you like to do Italian cooking. Well, yeah, I'm not Italian, but I like I like I th I'm not, I like Italian cooking. Mm -hmm. I don't cook it often, but it's a good food. So, what do you do when you're not at school that you can talk about on TV? Soccer. <laughs> Soccer, okay. I do training four days a week. Is that for a school team? School and my traveling team. Oh, okay. So, like a community traveling team? Mm -hmm. Trisa. It's a traveling team in Rocky Mount. Uh huh. Have you played with them very long? Yeah, about two or three years. It's yeah. an organization. It's not like rec league. It's something where our first game actually that was it. Aberdeen, about two hours away from here. Do you win games? Are you pretty good? Oh yeah, we actually are. We got number one division. We were, we got and we upgraded our division last season because we played so well. So we're in a, we're in the number one division now. Well, we used to be in number two. That's great. Yeah. What about other sports at OLPH? Um, I think the, the team won something, a championship though, right? Last year in some sort? Soccer? Oh yeah, we were undefeated last year. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, yes ma'am. Were you on the team? Yes ma'am, I was. Does your sister play sports too? Yeah, she likes to copy whatever her older brother does, so she plays soccer as well. Well, you know, if she didn't admire you, she wouldn't want to be like you, though, right? Yes, ma'am. Are you you're a pretty nice big brother, I hope? Yeah, I'll say so. <laughs> Good. I want to say so. And you have been at OLP since fifth grade? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Sixth, in like the middle of sixth grade year, yes. And I think you changed here because the, the COVID. Zoom education yeah. is not... I couldn't, no, I couldn't deal with that. Well, a lot of people can't, and I'm, I'm glad that your parents were able to find an, an option for you, but I think a lot of a lot of people um, are still recovering from that. Did it take you a while once you stopped doing that and transitioned to OLPH to kind of get back caught up with everybody who... You still kind of haven't caught up when it comes to grade-wise, but yes, I have um, caught up. That's browning up really, really nicely, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Is your family gonna eat this for dinner tonight, you think? I'm gonna eat it for dinner. <laughs> Good. I think that'd be great if you could, I, can, I mean, I, quite frankly, my kids never brought, cooked dinner for us at night, so I bet that's really been fun for your family that, that you like to cook. Yes, ma'am, it is. And you know, that'll make you really good marriage material someday. Have you thought about that? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably, you were a little bit young to think about that, but I mean, I think nowadays, men and women in families are, are sharing responsibilities more than they used to. Yes, they are. So my pop told me. Do, do, they, do your parents go with you to soccer games and watch you play? Mom usually doesn't, but my dad takes me, so yes. Mm -hmm. I bet you're looking forward to driving someday, aren't you? <laughs> how, how old are you being in that um, grade? About to turn 14 in two months. Oh, you got a little ways. Oh, next month, actually, yeah. Now, do you get to start practicing when you're 15? With I hope with so. A, with a parent in the car, is that how it works now? I hope I, hope I start learning this year. Uh-huh. Only 13 seconds. Left. Is it three minutes and 10 seconds? or Three minutes and five minutes, yeah. Just a little bit higher. I want to mention, on the back of your shirt, it reads, Praying in school since 1939, Our Lady of Perpetual Help Catholic School. That's really neat. So you did say that religion is a part of your, what you learn at school. Do they yeah. have a religion class or? There is a Catholic school. Uh -huh. It's a very big, it's a strong Catholic faith there. But you're Methodist, right? Um, yeah, I'm not Catholic, but um, I'm Methodist. But you, do you have a, a <laughs> daily religion class or how frequently? Um, I mean, we have our math teachers very, very, very religious and holy. So I guess you could say we did, we technically have one because every time we learn them something new, she's she always points it to God. Huh. You want to tell us what her name is? Mrs. Sillers. Okay. Well, so it sounds like your teachers are really trying to be very good role models for y'all. Yes, ma'am. 
what what are you looking at that we're seeing right now? It's all pumping up. And I'm trying around. to find no meat parts. For I'm trying to find. Is there one in here? Nothing Somewhere. that has any pink on it. Is that yeah. what you're looking for? No pink, and you want it to not be brown brown, but so it looks cooked. But it does, it's really it's looking great. Well, tell me, while that's finishing up, you have cooked a pasta. How much pasta? Because you're gonna serve it on a it's bed just of pasta. Normal pasta. Uh huh. <laughs> Pasta, you can buy, you can buy pasta anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, it's fettuccine pasta. Mm -hmm. So you can just, I'll just put the entire box in, cook it in half and put it in. And are you going to stir this with the sauce that you made or do you pour the sauce over it? I put the chicken in, I guess you could say you put it all at once. You put okay. pasta in, then your chicken, then you put your sauce in and just mix it up. Okay, why don't we take a break and your dad's gonna join us and you can mix it all together and then pour it on the plate and we'll taste it. How about okay. that? Yes, sir. Okay, be right back. Well, it smells so good that his dad decided to <laughs> join him, Todd Henson. Welcome, Todd. Thank you. I've enjoyed watching. <laughs> well, I know, well, he's been watching you a lot of times, too, which has been fun. He's done fine. He has done fine. Okay, so you ready to assemble it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. First off is your chicken. And that's just, just beautifully warm brown. Yep. And you put the, the, pot the sauce back. that's in there too, in with it. A little bit of the oil that. and the drippings. Yep, and come on up the truth. Mmm, right. that cheese in there smells good too. Yeah, now, I put a little, little bit too much cheese. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's good stuff. Uh -huh. he, he doesn't eat anything that's not going to be the good stuff for him. Well, now, rumor has it he wants to run out after this. He's going back to school, and he's going to feed some people at his school. I, I think I'm going to probably, probably have lunch for I'm just feeding my class. Lunch. I'm just feeding my school. Well, my that's friends. really I nice. I imagine he will take lunch for some folks over there to eat. Right. So, so you just mix it up, buddy? How you oh, doing? Oh, that's hot. So, given hot. how much he's been growing lately, I bet he can eat quite he a bit. He eats like us out of house time. and home. It is a nonstop. He is in the kitchen, um, but it's good. And, it's, yeah. and the good thing is, we said if you're going to eat that much, then you'd have to learn how to cook your own food because I can't cook food for you all the time. So. And you look he, really healthy. I mean, he's. He I mean, likes. Okay, yeah, you know, I'm. I'm proud of him and excited that he likes to get in there and cook, mm -hmm. and he can be self-sufficient. My my mom taught my brother and I, at an early age, to, yeah, you, know, you got to learn how to cook and to do your own thing and. And y'all lived together um, in college. We so. did, yeah. Well, so we lived together in college, and Mark, like, Mark still likes to cook a lot more than I do. Um, but I'm, I'm proud of him for wanting to cook and figure it out. I think he doesn't always like to go off recipes. He likes to just sort of figure it out. And, uh -huh. and that's what and one, of, one of his grandmothers likes, to just yeah. kind of make it up, too. Sort of figure out his own secret thing. Secret recipes. That that's right. Hopefully he can watch and learn how to make them, too. Is it about ready? All right, Almost. Good. You got stuff at the bottom. You want to get it evenly so it's not like you get one piece and say, like, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. The other piece is like, mm, no. So you thoroughly mix it. It's very... I know why you're doing that. I'm going to say, uh, this is Alfredo sauce. And it, again, it will be on our website or it will be on Cuisine with Jean. But a half cup of butter, which is one stick, melted on medium. Oh. Add a cup of heavy cream cooked for five minutes, whisking often. A teaspoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning cooked for 60 seconds. And then add a cup and a half of shredded Parmesan cheese until it melts. Add salt and pepper right, to taste. That's good. And the boneless chicken tenderloin, season to your liking. Cook them um, over a skillet in oil and put the chicken in for eight minutes and cook it thoroughly. I'm gonna get some chicken in there. Okay, we are about out of time. I want just one tiny bit so I can talk and eat, okay? And also I wanna save it for your classmates, for sure. Right, you wanna try some? Yeah. I'm try some. You gonna try some too? I'm gonna try some too. Okay. The only reason I came so I could get some. Oh, food. yum. Mmm. Mitchell, this is great. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. See how he did. Mm. <laughs> I love that. He's he's tasting it. He goes, mmm. This is really good. Mmm. -hmm. Pretty good, buddy. Mmm. -hmm. Nice job. Mm Hi. -hmm. <laughs> Well, I know what you're eating for lunch. <laughs> absolutely. Mitchell, thank you. It's such a treat to have a young person. <laughs> well. um, and, and I love the fact that you like to cook. So we'd love for you to come back sometime. Would you th consider that? Yes, ma'am, I would. Okay, great. And thank you. And we will see you next week.
There's never been a better time to sell or trade your used car or truck. Davenport Auto Park is ready to buy your pre-loved vehicle. The market is hot for used cars and we're paying top dollar. Drive into Davenport today and turn your car into cash. You'll get a cash offer on the spot. We'll even pay off your loan and give you a ride home. Or we'll help you pick out a new ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount. For the ride of your life and the life of your ride. Davenport Auto Park, Rocky Mount.